after all the trips to London, I have never been here at Borough Market. And so we took the time out to come visit here to have breakfast. And there are many, many options for breakfast, lunch, and your dinner here. But today I'm going to start off with Danish and another Danish and some orange juice and a baby flat white which is really just one gulp. Today we have a very ambitious day. This is the reason why this trip sort of came about. It's really to visit all the Christmas markets we can possibly visit on this trip. So today we are going to see three different Christmas markets. So hopefully we do get to all of them. Um, the bells you guys are ringing behind me, if you guys can hear that, is the South Fork Cathedral. It's very loud. And it's actually been ringing for the past 15 minutes. Um, trying to keep healthy while on the road. First, fresh cinnamon roll. Climb down the chimney at the speed of light while we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing just you and me. decided to take a small detour to Covent Garden to see all their Christmas display. Covent Garden normally has one of the best and most festive holiday displays. So now we've wandered into the Seven Dials neighborhood. Actually not wandered, we actually purposely looked for this cafe. This is my most favorite macaroon maker in the world. We're chasing snowflakes as they're falling down And follow Rudolph all across the town Play it with me under the mistletoe while Santa's busy saying ho 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 We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fire Three reasons why we took a detour here at Covent Gardens The first is just the overall magical holiday unique displays that Covent Garden is known for. Second is this. This spectacular Tiffany's holiday display. And the third, the macaroons.
then the Gryffindor ornament. Now we're at our first Christmas market, which is at Leicester Square. This Christmas market is actually pretty small compared to the other ones that we're planning to go to. But first we had to stop by, check it out, and have small lunch. And now I am having the... which is the sausage with cheese inside and then sauerkraut on top mm. really really tasty tasty yum We have made our way to Hyde Park, which is actually the first time I'm ever visiting this park. Quite exciting, and it looks quite big. Holy moly, trying to get into this winter park in Hyde Park, it's like trying to go through airport security. <laughs> no water allowed. big over here and I don't even know if you could call this a Christmas market it's like a carnival a festival a fiesta a food hall everything is here it's crazy I think it's like I don't know half of the park maybe it just keeps going on and on and on
market is as big as a village. Actually, it's its own village. Wow, that was like being in an amusement park. For back home, it's like going to Great America. <laughs> and funny enough, they don't charge anything for entrance. It's open from 10A to 10P. And you can stay in there for as long as you want. Although, for the rides, they do cost a little extra. Um, you have to buy tokens. And now we're going to head off to the next Christmas market and the last one for the day. All right, a word of warning. If you're going to... Oh, look at this one. I have never seen this. We are walking on Piccadilly and we ran into this monument. Let's take a look. So that monument commemorates the World War II RAF pilots. So getting back to a word of warning. If you go to the winter park here at Hyde Park, be prepared to take the tube or the underground from Green Park. You can only arrive from Hyde Park Corner, but you can't take that underground leaving. So it's going to be quite a walk. station is so full! Oh my gosh, it's like pandemonium. Are now at our last Christmas market which is the South Bank Christmas market and between all three this is the smallest one we are going to have a snack minus the katsu bao bun and then we're gonna head on out of here because it is starting to rain but first it's definitely spicy. It's got some heat to it. And the rain is just getting harder and harder now. <laughs> okay, did it? Seek shelter from the storm. short because the rain did start to come down hard. It is pretty interesting to eat in the rain. And so we decided to take shelter from the storm at Waglama. So now I'm eating some chicken udon, which ironically is the first meal I'm having for today because we've only been snacking throughout our 
our visits at the Christmas market. And thankfully, Wagamama is right across the South Bank Christmas market, so we just sort of fast walked it here. So today has been a great bucket list check off or a part of it. Um, I have just never tried or made the effort to check out the Christmas markets. And in retrospect, I have been here probably in the tail end of the season because Christmas markets do run, um, I want to say about five to six weeks only. Um, so I probably would have caught like the last week that a few, uh, one or two would be open at the time, but it was a different goal um, every time that I visited here and for this whole trip, um, the goal was the Christmas markets. We just don't have this kind of atmosphere back home or at least in the Bay Area. We have them in small intimate type of very select few locations. So every time, every time I come here during the winter season or anywhere else in Europe, the celebration is just so grand that you can't help but feel that holiday spirit or just you can sink your teeth into that celebration. I'm not sure why we don't in the U.S. put more effort into decorating our streets. Um, not sure <laughs> if it's cost. It's funny that videos and pictures that I've seen of the Bath Christmas Market and the South Bank Christmas Market, I swear it looked like it was two or three times the size. I thought it would be the size of the Hyde Park Christmas Market. Now that one really surprised me, like really. Um, that was a small town or like a big village. <laughs> That's what I thought, or that's how I pictured a Christmas market um, would be, just over the top. <laughs> so, again, I'm going to pack. While I pack, I am going to have a few of these bad boys. I'm so excited. This is my favorite macaroon maker in the world. I mean, this shop is such an artist. I mean, I'm gonna open it. Too bad they don't last long. I mean, they're not meant to last long. They're meant to be fresh. That I want to take like a dozen home, but we still have a few days and it won't keep, so... My gosh! Look at that! I love Pierre Hermé because his macarons are not pretentious at all. When they say this is rose with peppermint and lychee in it. <laughs> That's totally made up. It will taste it. You will taste each and every ingredient. So I... That's why I'm completely in love with his macarons. And so, don't forget to click that subscribe button below to get notified of new videos. And click that like button below 
in support of this video. So from my mind side to yours, more exciting days ahead. Thanks for watching. It really felt like a winter park, like a Christmas market, like, I don't know. What would you think about it? Nothing. He can't hear me half of oh. the time.